Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Nono Films. Today we're going to be continuing our iMovie tutorials and in the previous video we covered the noise reduction and equalizer so be sure to check out that tutorial. Now in this video I did say I would cover um, audio effects, video effects and effects on your project and uh, then I also said that we would cover time adjustments and how to adjust the time on your um, project but the thing is um I got a question in my previous tutorial. I'm gonna open up the question so everybody can see it. And it's it was by Glossy Glitters 101. I'm having this problem where after I edit my videos, I got to share it so I can upload it, but nothing happens. Any help, please. So I'm hoping in this tutorial we're gonna take a break from the going through. I'm gonna open iMovie. No, iMovie. Where's iMovie? There we are. I'm gonna open up iMovie and Here's my project, and we're gonna take a break from the adjustments menu, and we're gonna go after, we're gonna go straight into how to upload. Let's say you already created an awesome project, and you want to upload it and publish it, and export it straight to YouTube. So let's let's begin on that right away, and then I'll in the next tutorial we'll continue and finish the audio effects and video effects. So let's begin. The, in order to upload or export your videos, you're gonna go up, always go up to this share. And you simply select share, and you can select see where you want to share. You can share iTunes, email, straight to your email, Facebook, Vimeo, which I've never heard of, and CNN, I report. I don't really know how that works. The main two I work, use is YouTube and, I, and File. Though, actually, the main one I use is File. But, for example, let's start off with YouTube. The thing is, with iMovie 11, I mean iMovie 10.0.1, the newest version, it's it's got it still has bugs, like I said, and this is one of them. It can't really ex export directly to YouTube just yet, because there's problems that appear to be having. But I'll show you the error after I show you guys how you want to set it up to export it straight to YouTube. So what you want to do is first go over your footage by going with your mouse over it, and you can see what you got in your footage. And we got a, I just created my project, as you guys can see, and uh, it just looks absolutely beautiful so here's my project now this is gonna be your title of the video right here I'm just gonna move it name it iMovie tutorials then it's gonna be the description just like on YouTube you're gonna have your title description your tags and then also you can also change these on YouTube once it's uploaded to YouTube and then you got your size the size meaning the definition of the video high definition HD is always the best 720p or 1080p and then your category mine's gonna be education because it's teaching basically and uh, then I'm going to set it to private because I want to review my video before I actually set it out to public. And then once, before you actually can upload, you want to go to, to uh, your right here. It'll have you actually sign in before, but you're going to enter your email here or your account name. And then you're going to enter your password and you're going to hit OK. You got to make sure it says verified. And if it goes, lets you go through the next screen, that means it, it's connected, the account. Then all you have to do is simply hit next and agree to the YouTube terms and service and it will actually upload straight to your YouTube channel. But the thing is, the thing is before I go on, iMovie, it doesn't, at the moment, it doesn't seem to support it. At least for me, I'm not sure if I'm the only one having a problem with this, but it will actually stop. It will, this is your progress bar before I go on. Right here, this is how you know that uh, the video is being uploaded or it's being processed to upload. And you'll see at the top right hand corner of iMovie, there's, be this, there's gonna be this little uh, circle and it's gonna be filling up and you'll see right here, finishing published to YouTube, 31 megabytes completed. And I'll show you how much it's completed. But the thing is with iMovie, let me continue. You'll see in just a moment, I'm gonna get an error, meaning that it was unable to be published. When I gave it the old info, it says share failed. The share operation YouTube Hive clips has failed. And you can view details and this is the share operation has failed. And this happens on all my accounts. I don't know why, so I'm, I just assume that it, something's wrong with iMovie and it just won't let me upload straight to YouTube. So the way I go around that, and I've actually been doing this because the way through this option ever since the old iMovie as well, just because sometimes uh, iMovie, it doesn't let you upload uh, videos that are longer than 10 minutes when you actually have partnership with YouTube and uh, they actually, YouTube now allows you to upload longer than 10 minutes. So iMovie just doesn't correspond to that. So the way you wanna go around that, all those those uh, iMovie uh, adjustments and just, just have the video so you wanna just completely export the video. The best way to do it, it's an extra step, but it actually gives you the video. So what we're trying to do, instead of go to publish straight to YouTube, I'm gonna go to file. So you're gonna go share, 
you have your project, it's all finished, nice, beautiful project. Go to share, and you're gonna go hit file. Now, skim through your project, see, make sure it's correct, looks right. And uh, then you're gonna go to uh, iMovie, I mean, you're going to put in the title of the video, and you don't have to really worry about the description because you'll change that when you upload it to YouTube. And then tags, don't really worry about that either. And then just go to size, and then change your size to what video. I'm just going to go to 720p because it's that's the quickest at the moment, and just for the tutorial reasons. And uh, then you don't have to worry about signing on into anything. Then you just hit next, and now it's going to ask you where you want to export it into. So it, save as iMovie Tutorials, that's the title. And it, I'm going to save it onto my desktop for this reason. So that way I can find it automatically. So we're going to hit desktop and it should save and then hit save. Now you'll see this progress bar at the top right hand corner of iMovie once again. And it says transcoding iMovie tutorials. And it, mine's going to go pretty quickly because mine's only 14 second video. So it's going to go directly to my desktop after it's done. And it should actually open up the movie file after it's finished. And you'll see the example of that in just one moment. But if you have a really long movie, let's say maybe 10 minutes, it will take a little bit longer. You'll see it right here, transcoding. And it will, it, it should work fine. You see, it just finished. There we are, it gave me a little not notification. Share successful, share file was successful. So now it's on my desktop. And here's the video right here. I can play it and go through it and actually see it before. So there you are, since it's only 14 seconds, that's why, only, that's why it went so fast. Now I have it on my desktop, which is right here on the right hand corner of the screen or up right up here now because I just moved it and uh, then you can go straight to YouTube I'm gonna slide this to the side and then you go to upload just like normal and then you can actually just drag and drop this file right in here and then it will start uploading the file and there you are that's your movie after you edit it and uh, that's just one extra step but that's that's the best way to do it through iMovie at the moment unless iMovie fixes their little bugs and glitches but yeah, that's. I hope this actually helped you guys to upload and further answer your que your questions if you guys had any. But yeah, that's 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 the way you would upload. I hope that answered your question. Question, glossy glitters 101, and uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment below of any other questions, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Later.